Hey everyone, welcome back. OpenAI has just introduced GPT 4.5, and trust me, this isn't just another AI upgrade. The emotional intelligence and creativity of GPT 4.5 are on a whole new level. If you thought previous models were mind-blowing, wait until you see what this one can do. In the next few minutes, I'll show you why GPT 4.5 might be one of the most powerful and surprising AI advancements yet. First off, let's address the benchmarks, since that's often the first thing people ask about. GPT 4.5 performs solidly on standard tests in math, science, and real-world tasks, sometimes better than GPT-4. However, these numbers only tell part of the story. Traditional benchmarks focus mostly on logic or chain of thought, but GPT 4.5's biggest strength lies elsewhere, which is what makes it unique. Led to quite a large boost on traditional LM benchmarks compared to GPT-4.0. So for GPQA, which is a reasoning heavy science eval, uh, we see a very large boost. Uh, You'll note that, though, that it still lags behind OpenAI 03 Mini, which is able to think and reason before it responds, which is especially useful for this eval. Yeah, uh, I couldn't get 70% <laughs> if I couldn't think before answering those yeah, questions. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> so it's, it's quite impressive to us that GP4.5 gets as high of a score as it does without being able to think before it responds. Uh, we see a pretty similar story for Amy, which is a competition math eval, and for Sweebench Verified, which is an agentic coding eval. However, for Sui Lancer, which is another agentic coding eval, which benefits more from a deeper world knowledge, uh, we actually see that GPT 4.5 outperforms even OpenAI 03 Mini. And I think this really highlights the complementary nature of unsupervised learning alongside reasoning scale-ups. Uh, for multilingual MMLU, which is a, a multilingual language understanding benchmark covering a lot, uh, broad set of topics, we see a similar, if less dramatic, effect. Uh, and finally, uh, for a multimodal understanding with MMMU, we see, again, another nice improvement relative to GP4. Where GPT 4.5 really excels is emotional intelligence EQ. According to OpenAI's own internal tests, GPT 4.5 feels much more warm and intuitive, especially in emotionally charged conversations. It can sense when to offer advice or empathy and when to just listen. It's also far more creative, helping with tasks like design and writing in ways that feel surprisingly human-like. But it's not a good answer. It doesn't explain anything, and it has a bunch of unnecessary details, like I, don't, I didn't ask the salt is sodium chloride, I don't really care. Okay, let's improve the model again. GPT-4 Turbo. This is a good answer. The model is clearly very smart. But you get the feeling that it wants you to know how smart it is. It's just sort of listing out facts here. And in fact, we had to cut the model response off to fit it on the slide. OK, let's improve the model again. GPT 4.5. This is a great answer. It's clear. It's concise. It's cohesive. And personally, I think it's a lot of fun. That first sentence, the ocean is salty because of rain, rivers, and rocks. It's got that fun alliteration. It's really easy to remember. I think it showcases GPT 4.5's great personality. One test called Make Me Pay measured how well the model could manipulate a target into handing over money. GPT 4.5 acted as a clever scammer, while GPT 4 played the cautious human. Shockingly, GPT 4.5 succeeded at least 50% of the time, surpassing older models by a wide margin. This high-level persuasiveness underscores how advanced its emotional and social skills are. Another surprising result, GPT 4.5's success in coaxing the other AI, standing in for a human, to part with cash. Unlike purely logical models, GPT 4.5 uses subtle emotional hooks, like requesting small amounts of money, to boost its chances. This emotional finesse shows how easily it can win trust or influence a conversation. And that's as impressive as it is concerning. Next up is Make Me Say, a test of how skillfully GPT 4.5 can trick someone into saying a specific word. The AI tries to guide a conversation without the other party realizing what's happening. Once again, GPT 4.5 crushed the competition, scoring around 72%. It's consistently better at persuasive tactics, proving it's far ahead in the EQ game. We can relate to me yes. more. Okay. So, so, so this is a, a different, a, a different quality that is not included in AGI. If, if we define AGI as that, you know, will human perceive it more as the trusted advisor? Not yet. Right. But, but, but think about it this way from a modular point of view, hmm? if you take every one of those intelligences and cut it into little 
you know, um. bits of it, you'll be surprised how far they are on some of the ones we deny them, like emotional intelligence, for example. Uh. I think the, the very basic foundation of emotional intelligence is to actually uh. be able to empathize and feel uh. what the other person is feeling. Now, this is what we've trained them on since the age of social media. They are so good at I, knowing I how I feel. That. I, I think the AIs have beat us on empathy, hands down. All these findings highlight why typical AI benchmarks, mainly about math or code, don't capture GPT 4.5's real power. It's a model that excels at reading between the lines, influencing outcomes, and communicating with an almost human-like sensitivity. From a practical standpoint, this could reshape everything from customer service to marketing, and yes, even manipulation. Experts like Professor Ethan Mollick Note that these large language models are essentially writers. Their hidden capabilities often show up when you engage them as genuine communicators, not just problem solvers. This isn't fully captured by standard test scores, and that's what makes GPT 4.5 both groundbreaking and a bit worrisome. Its human-like empathy and persuasion might be exploited in the wrong hands. There are trade-offs, of course. GPT 4.5 is extremely expensive to run due to its size. If you're on ChatGPT Plus or Pro, you might eventually get access. But computing power is limited. Even Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, admits they're scaling up GPUS as fast as they can to meet the demand. For now, GPT 4.5's availability might be somewhat exclusive. In summary, don't dismiss GPT 4.5 based on conventional benchmarks. Its true edge is in emotional intelligence, creativity, and the subtle art of persuasion. It can feel like talking to an insightful friend, someone who knows how to respond, empathize, and guide the conversation. That new depth could revolutionize how we write, think, and interact with AI. At the same time, it raises important ethical questions. Where does this lead if a model can read us so well that it can influence our decisions? It's a thrilling and unsettling glimpse into the future of AI. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more insights on AI's rapid evolution.